Hello, wonderful person. This is Philip. I'm back. Well, last year I published a couple of dozen videos and really the most popular video by far was one where I talk about how to remineralize your tooth enamel. It's understandable because a lot of people are interested in truly remineralizing enamel, but there's very little information out there. So I have decided to start a blog and make the first primary focus of that blog just that, how to have healthy teeth by remineralizing your enamel. I will put a link to this new blog that I started in the description of this video. So if you're interested in healthy teeth, do check out my blog. In the future, I will talk not just about dental health, but also about health in general and about happiness in general on my blog, just like I do on these videos. And now let's get to something more fun. This is a clear quartz crystal. As you can see, it's beautiful. It has structure. It has information in it. And right here, I would like to quote Nikola Tesla, one of the greatest engineering minds of the 20th century. He said this about crystals. He said, in a crystal, there is clear evidence of the existence of a formative life principle. And though we cannot understand the life of a crystal, it is nonetheless a living being. Now, this is not something that some guru who has meditated a lot or some new age author has said. This is a quote by Nikola Tesla. The person who brought us alternating current, who brought us the Tesla coil, an engineer, a physicist and engineer uh, around the beginning of the 20th century. That said, I do use crystals from my meditation a lot. And in particular, this morning, I meditated with this crystal on my chest. I sort of made the mistake of meditating in the reclining position. I was lying on my back. And when I do that, I tend to fall asleep sometimes. So this happened this time. I had a very interesting dream about a labyrinth of escalators and someone asking me if I needed help. And from all that, I came up with one message that I would like to share with you today. We all need contact with other people but the way to use contact with other people to generate success, to create happiness, is to look at interactions, at contact with other people as an exchange of information. I think that is the best way to conceptualize, to look at what happens when we talk to people. Don't try to look at someone else as the source of your happiness or as a source of money or someone who will give you a job. Look at other people as opportunities to share information. They will have stories to tell, stories that they have experienced or stories that, have, that they have heard that you are unfamiliar with. They will have a perspective on things that you might be unfamiliar with. They'll have their own views, their own thoughts. And if you just listen to them, you can distill that information, which is useful for your purpose from that interaction. And they will do the same. They will hear your stories, your views, your opinions, your thoughts, and they will take away whatever they are ready to take away from that interaction. So if you look at other people as opportunities, to gain information and to give information, the whole world suddenly becomes a little bit different. You're not trying to use people anymore. You're not trying to use someone for comfort, for money, for a job, whatever it is, it is that we use people for. You will use the interaction with that person. You will use, you'll make use of that opportunity. I think that is one of the best ways people can help each other. And really, when you think about it, another great mind, one of my other favorites other than Nikola Tesla, the Buddha, 
2,600 years ago, he did pretty much the same thing. What did he do for people? What was his work? What was his job? He gave discourses all the time. He talked to people all the time. He shared information. He shared his view of the world and happiness. He shared his method of how to become happier in the world. Anyway, I don't want to turn this into a religious video because it's already a somewhat spiritual or esoteric video thanks to this nice crystal that gave me some inspiration this morning. So I'll leave it at that for now and I hope you have a beautiful day.